In the hills around the beautiful ancient city of Samarkand, one finds a lovely shaded spot which radiates peace. In fact, it is a very special place of pilgrimage for Muslims, Jews, and Christians, and many people of all three faiths come here to pray. It is the tomb of the prophet Daniel, the one who was thrown into the lion's den and survived quite nicely. Now this is actually one of five places in the world which claim to be the tomb of Daniel. But there is actually nothing unusual about that, as often such tombs contain only a portion of the person's bones. This one is said to contain the right hand of Daniel. This is an extraordinary place, and one cannot help but feel uplifted by its tranquil energy. Inside the mausoleum itself rests the unusual sarcophagus of the prophet. What is so curious about it is that it is not six feet long, as one would expect, but sixty feet long. It is said that ever since being buried there, Daniel's hand has continued to grow, and his mausoleum has been in continual need of expansion. Now, of course, this is a legend, and there are several other explanations given for the unusual size of the sarcophagus. Nevertheless, in the late 19th century, government officials threatened to demolish the whole structure if this annoying and expensive miracle did not stop. The legend of the perpetually growing Daniel is in all likelihood just that, a legend. But regardless whether the phenomenon is true or not, it points to a much deeper truth understood by the people who go there for inspiration. With the grace of God, we grow in unbelievable ways, and even death cannot destroy it. The mustard seed, when sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. But once it is sown, it grows to become the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. Growth, as Cardinal Newman wrote, is the only evidence of life. It is true. If we stop growing, we are a lifeless corpse. But if we allow the life of God to sprout up inside us, then our growth, our life, is endless, quite literally endless. Our hands are not dead unless we stop using them to help others. As long as we use those hands in the service of our neighbor, the hands grow more and more in that capacity to help others grow. People are like dirt, says Plato. They can either nourish you and help you grow as a person, or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die. If we refuse to help another to grow, it is we ourselves who will wither and die. The giving hand is the only living hand. In life, the hand of the prophet held many things. In its tomb, that hand holds a profound lesson for us, the lesson of the mustard seed. In God, growth has no bounds. In God, human possibility has no limit. In God, life has no end.